Yeah, g'day mates, it's been a while since we've actually had a look at After Conflict, so I thought it was about time to give you more or less of an update to see how the game is actually progressing and being developed and what new things have been added to it. Anyways, let's get into it. So starting off, we have the RPG 22, which honestly, I'm going to be absolutely honest, you guys know that I'm not uh, firearmsly gifted, I believe is the term, and I'm going to be absolutely honest, when I saw this, I thought it was the LAW or the law that was added into the game, but no, I was wrong. Close. Not really, but still wrong. Now, as someone who, like I said, knows nothing about weapons, my thoughts about using this weapon was that, well, before I even fired it, was that I was expecting some really violent sort of rocket launch that you'd get in, like, RS2. But thankfully, Spitfire, who is one of the developers for After Conflict, sent me a couple of videos basically comparing the RPG-22 to the RPG-7 on, you know, the RPG that all of us are familiar with in RS2. But, I mean, a cool thing about this is if you do fire into the air, and I know this is, like, such a minor thing, but I thought this was cool. It, it like has an arc and it lands back down. That's such a minor thing, but I just thought that that was kind of cool. Now, another thing I want to show off today is a thing called diopter sights. Now, I'm going to be absolutely honest. I got no idea what that is. I literally had to ask Spitfire, like, what does this mean? And he's like, oh, read this Wikipedia article. Read the article. Still was so confused, so he had to literally demonstrate to me what exactly it is. But the RPG-22 and the G3 have this effect. And, you know, I just want to make sure, because I remember watching a TV show called Brain Games, like, many years ago, where they said if you get your hand and you, like, close it into sort of like a, a fist type, and you look through it, and everything becomes sort of zoomed-ish, is that what a diopter sight is? Like, is that, like, the same effect? I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit confused. I'd actually like it if someone could just, like, put it as if a five-year-old, or you were explaining it to a five-year-old, except that five-year-old is 20 and me. But I am told that, like, very few video games actually emulate this effect and once again this game is going to stress realism and they are going to really extreme lengths to implement as much realistic elements to it as possible now the next thing we have is foldable stocks now in rs2 we're all familiar with the fact that when you fold a stock you get a better or decreased ADS. because in my older videos i say increased ADS as if increasing means better i i can't english but you get a decreased ADS at the expense of misaligned sites in this game you don't get the crooked science or an increase I did it again a decreased ADS and honestly thing is I, I couldn't think of like what advantage could folding a stock have and even went and did some research like oh what, what's the purpose of folding a weapon stock and people are like oh yeah you know it's to improve the storage and everything and I'm like okay you know that doesn't really satisfy me so I asked Spitfire again like in this game what are the advantages of folding a weapon stock at the expense of having increased I can't I get increased and decreased fucking incorrect but at the expense of decreased accuracy and that is you won't bang on walls when in close quarters and you won't actually be prevented from firing your weapon when you do this which honestly me personally my favorite gun in this game is the black AK-74 it's like the one with the foldable stock and the thing is if Marquez Brownlee MKBHD could use any gun in after conflict it would be this gun I know that this isn't matte black it's the closest thing we're gonna get to matte black okay and I think it looks freaking sexy like how stealthy it looks like Jesus man it's, this is a sexy goddamn gun and even with the folded stock man oh mwah. chef's kiss man right there another cool little feature is that when you do fold the stock you do get a unique reload you can see that there is a different reload animation when you have the stock folded as opposed to when you don't now moving on we have some binoculars the b8 to be exact now it is unclear or actually i did sort of get a reasoning as to what purpose binoculars will have and that is to more or less assist with abilities similar in rs2 but these ones are really well done for starters they look great i'm not going to sit here and say oh yeah see you see this this thing right here yeah historically inaccurate literally unplayable gg well played uninstalling the game and i'm gonna be absolutely honest i do like using the binoculars as telescopes and just looking at the sun or uh, don't do that in real life i should probably put a little obligatory thing as well as using it to look at the moon at night really beautiful and well done might i add another cool thing is if you get too close or if you get close to any object like in real life things begin to blur and now i want to tell you a little fun fact i remember in year three i was reading a book and the thing is i put the book really really close to my face for some reason and everything went blurry and I'm like oh my god I need glasses and I started to panic because I thought that I was going blind or something turns out in real life not, okay this was real life but turns out if you get too close to something things get blurry and there's no exception in my case as well as the 
game's case because if you do get close to things they do start to blur when you back away they begin to unblur real nice touch you also have this sort of like fish eye type effect i don't know the proper term but you can see that there's like a little curve on the edges when you look at things in the distance it is a subtle effect but it is there and it's good but a thing that i should mention that i haven't yet is that depending on the scope that you have you have total control over everything about the scope let's take the svd dragon off whatever you want to call it for starters right and we can turn on the reticle light which helps in lower light scenarios and obviously like i said in my sniper teal is for rising storm 2 vietnam is good to sort of contrast between surfaces but one thing right and mind you this is really fucking cool but you have total control of where the reticle is and how precise you want to be you want to move it to the right to the left to basically counter any difficulty like wind maybe like i assume that might be a factor that'll come in if you're shooting over hundreds of mi miles hundreds of meters wind might obviously probably does take an issue you can adjust the scope to counter that distance height elevation anything and obviously it depends on the scope this one you can do that and yes you can use the iron sights some weapons you don't have iron sights for but some you do and that's going to be a good little feature to have because in rs2 vietnam i find that like some weapons like the m1d as well as the mosin sniper variants i always oh, i don't always but majority of the time i do use the iron sights and in this game the iron sights are a lot better to look for so i'm definitely going to be using these now if you aren't following after conflict on twitter which if you aren't go chuck my follow as well as follow me on twitter which you know i if you don't have twitter don't create an account and don't follow me because i kind of want to protect you from twitter itself but if you do have twitter you know and you're looking for someone to get some really weird 3 a.m tweets that are just stupid uh definitely chuck me a follow but we can see that there is a working bm21 with its engine running and we can see some explosions going on in the village honestly to be honest it sounds like firecrackers and honestly i am looking forward to seeing some explosions at night time like can you imagine it's pitch dark and you just see like fucking explosions going everywhere you can see muzzle flashes in the distance because nighttime in this game is it is nighttime when i say nighttime i mean pitch darkness and i am genuinely looking forward to some night battles but moving on to weapon handling they have made improvements there weapons feel more fluid i'd say primarily the primary weapons the recoil have been improved and i just love the bullet casings that go flying on the ground they change based on caliber size there is no sound that plays and i assume that when metal hits a ground surface that's going to be like it's going to make a sound or maybe my character is just so deaf from firing weapons all day without any ear protection that he just can't hear it now for the 50th time i'm going to say this but this game is stresses realism as you can see in my gameplay that there's a hud icon that has the compass that won't actually be in the final game that's obviously going to get removed because you're going to get to use these compasses now i assume they're going to take up an inventory slot because they are going to be their own separate item so you're going to have a choice of like oh do you want to take an rpg do you want to take grenades med kit or i assume that this is going to be some medical related item or do you want to have a compass now obviously i'm no boy scout but i do know that the sun rises from the east and sets in the west so i suppose that if you don't have a compass you can sort of use that to help you with navigation but we have this compass in the game so far and it lights up at night and it functions like a real compass does in real life and i think that's pretty goddamn cool now i'm gonna be absolutely honest i just hope that my teammates know how to use a compass or just or that someone will actually bring one because i I'm, I'm gonna actually die if like no one needs or no one has a compass but then we're like oh we don't know what the hell we're doing because i can imagine that you can't just press m in this game to bring up a map like in literally any other game so i imagine that you need to have a map i assume that that might be added separately into the game as a different inventory item or maybe you just need to use a compass to actually help you get around the map but anyways i'm gonna end today's video there i hope you guys did enjoy it because if you did please do consider leaving a like subscribing sharing the video with your friends anyways my name is tantu and i will catch you guys in the next video peace